Greetings and welcome to Smartwatch Ticks. If you're watching this video, you may have clicked here by trying to download an archive zip file of watch faces to install on one of your Android-based standalone uh, watches like this. This video is prepared especially to tell you that those zip files are no longer available. We have a different process for providing you information about the clock skins, like these brand new ones, unreleased, they still got a little bugs we're working out on, uh, from Inceptual Games, an amazing new developer. These will be featured in upcoming videos. For now, they're just here for you to oogle over while I tell you about a couple of words. The first one's called attribution, and the second one is called homage. And it's because of those words that we're modifying the process of how we present our clock faces, or watch faces, and clock skins to you. Definitions. What is attribution? It's the act of attributing, especially the act of establishing a particular person as the creator of a work of art, something such as a quality or characteristic that is related to a particular possessor, an attitude. I just love definitions, don't you? Basically what it means is these watch faces that you've been freely downloading have actually taken a lot of time to develop and the developers really deserve credit. It's acknowledging that they developed these watch faces. Okay. The other one, homage, is a great respect and honor, something that's done to honor a person or thing. We pay homage to our ancestors. Or in this case, maybe we pay homage to... Um, Oh, one of the watch developers, a major uh, watch manufacturer from which inspiration comes that a uh, developer creates a modification to that watch face like Omega or one of those and you're able to see it. So we actually in the developer side of the world have a process where we are able to allow the developers to independently post their works and we give them attribution for doing that, and they are required to pay homage to any uh, watch faces or companies that they used in that development. When we package all of the watch faces together in a little zip file and throw it out here for you guys to consume, we lose all of this. It goes away. So we have a new process where we're going to do this. We're going to show you all of the watch faces like we always do. And in the show notes, there's going to be a file that you can download. And in that file are a bunch of text files. And in the text file, there is the name of each of the watch faces. There's a link that you can use to go to the posting of the developer where you will find the download link to download the actual clock skin into your watch. And there'll be an image of the thumbnail that you normally see so you know which one it is. So what you'll do is you'll be able to watch the video and see all of the watch faces for a particular month, for example. Then you'll be able to download that text compilation and you'll be able to go through each one of them and decide, I like this one, I like that one, those are the ones I want. Click on the link, go over to the developer's web page or, or posting of that, uh, of that link, and, uh, and download, literally download the watch face, just like all the rest of us have had to do, right from that source. So we're changing from the zip archive to a watch face index. The benefits of doing this is going to be providing the proper recognition to each of the developer's work. In order to get a watch face, you're going to need to see the developer's site and download it directly from the developer. You'll also be able to see the reference sources for the watch face. That's the homage. That's uh, where if you want to click through and see more about where the source came from, you'll have those links. You can offer direct contact uh, with the developer where you can dialogue if you want to. You can um, get and read the posts about the watch face and you can leave comments directly to the developer. Interact, in other words. It also gives you the ability to request changes or enhancements. And we're encouraging the developers as they fix little bugs to just go ahead and uh, repost in their same basic area uh, the updated versions. So unlike uh, compilation zip files that months later may be obsolete, this way you can download the latest versions. 
What are the drawbacks? There's a few. You're not going to have access to a full archive of watch faces anymore that made it so simple to just drag and drop it into your watch and all the faces show up. No, you're going to need to download them individually. So you're going to be able to pick and choose the ones you really want because it's a little more time consuming. And later, some of the watch faces may actually be removed, perhaps for copyright issues, or the developer just chooses not to share it anymore. And you may not be able to get access to a face, a watch face that you've seen in the video and you'd like, but it's not there anymore. But nonetheless, benefits and drawbacks, this is the way to go. So we are going to be removing the zip archives that you've been seeing before. If it's possible to reconstitute the zip file of all of those clock faces into a new watch face index, uh, we'll do that, but that's really time consuming. It'll probably start with the month of May, then go back to April. We'll see how that goes. Until then, none of those faces will be available either as zip or as index, and you literally need to go to the G Plus community to download any of the watch faces you see from the past. But starting with this month, uh, which is June, that we're archiving here for you to show you all the watch face developers uh, works from June. From June forward, we'll be giving you access to a watch face index, which is simply a pointer to each of the uh, pages that the developers posted their works on. All right. Thanks for putting up with this. It's a modification that's fair to everybody, and uh, we think it'll work in the best interest of the developers and still give you great access to really cool watch faces.